the the actress is already deleting her nonsensical tweets uh, because she's getting exposed for the type of person she really is. The the actress is already deleting her nonsensical tweets uh, because she's getting exposed for the type of person she really is. So this will be a bit of an odd one. If you're a longer term subscriber, you'll know that I'm critical of a YouTuber called Mahler. He's notorious for alleging that he can be an objective critic, but this one is not focused so much on what he's done in his video essays or, in my opinion, not done, which is often be, frankly, articulate, but that's me. Here we're looking at a really interesting, if odd, controversy. If you know Geeks and Gamers, Jeremy had a recent run-in with an Eternals star, and apparently he felt very proud that the star, quote, deleted a tweet. Now, what the entire philosophy is of deleting tweets or comments is unclear. There may be legitimate reasons for it. But anyway, it seems the stance is they're proud that it's showing the hypocrisy of the person for deleting tweets. So now let us turn to Mahler and see if Jeremy's going to be consistent. And let me give some background information for the confused. Mahler did a video essay a couple of months ago on the Snyder Cut. And with that video, he had some very extensive comments in the comment section. But now if we look at the video more recently, those comments have magically disappeared. I've checked this a couple times, and it does seem like he's just erased the comments. Now why he's erased the comments, I'm still not sure. I do know, and I will confess, that Mahler tweeted out a kind of insult at one of the screenwriters for Black Widow. Essentially, the screenwriter admitted that they did the script very quickly. They did it in about, what, 11 days? And then he made fun saying the quality of the film reflected how little time they spent on the script. And then, of course, I tweeted back to him using his own words that he admits in his comments he spent only a little bit of time on his quote-unquote response to Snyder. So his own script lacks a lot of good qualities. Now, I'm not arrogant enough to think he's responding to me, but comments are gone. I guess the best I can speculate is I think, frankly, he came off as very, very whiny. To use some Ruby Rose language, he sort of came off like a he came off like a whiny little bee, uh, and maybe that's why he got rid of the comments since he doesn't look good. But it's also strange because some of the other comments within the video are responding to him, and for the most part, they're very positive. The entire point of the comments seemed to be to sort of tell his fans not to demand videos on their terms, but be basically be happy when he completes videos whenever he wants. I didn't have any time. I had to take ibuprofen. I couldn't even see relatives. Oh, it was like real work. Oh, oh God. The video itself did pretty well. It's garnered over a million views, but despite a lot of people seeing it, it really didn't change anything. In terms of the ultimate outcome, I think it's overwhelmingly clear that Zack won and Waller lost. There really wasn't much of a shift at all. At all, really. Almost very few fans were persuaded by his, uh, whatever you want to call them, rantings. And the Snyder Cut has been doing very, very well by many, many different metrics. But in terms of Jeremy, it does raise the question, well, is he saying deleting comments proves the person's right? Or proves that the person is hiding something? Well, again, if that's his attitude, then Mahler is hiding something or he said something embarrassing and is basically trying to hide it. And I'll be perfectly honest, I thought I actually deleted the screenshots because, again, I have to clean up my computer. And I was worried about this, saying, hmm, has anybody else recorded this? And as far as I know, nobody else has, so... I mean, if he wants to erase the comments, again, it's his YouTube channel, he can do that. What I don't like is he does seem to have this very, very strong hypocrisy about when others delete comments or manipulate comments or his comments, he gets very, very self-righteous. So, uh, but I'll be nice. This doesn't prove necessarily hypocrisy, right? Maybe there's perfectly legitimate reason he erased the comments, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's very strange. But uh, we shall wait and see what happens. He's going to put the comments back or just pretend, oh, I never made those comments in the first place. Him admitting very frontally, yeah, this isn't that good a video. But yeah, I didn't have much time. I guess he was getting a little embarrassed. So I'll be nice. I'll wait and see where this turns out. But it does look a little weird that he just erases these comments. But we'll wait and see. I was <laughs> talking about how the plot doesn't make sense with Sean on Twitter, and he said... Uh, in response to people, no, but it's actually very deep that the character motivations make no sense, was the defense of Thanos in the last movie, so I assume you can slot that one in here, whatever, it's a film for small children, I hope they enjoy it. He, uh, he got blasted for this, uh, by his fan base. I thought it was really funny, because I was like, oh man. <laughs> I 
I thought he was on, you know, not this team. The whole everything's like you, everyone could enjoy everything. But he ended up deleting this tweet, um, because I guess the people didn't take That's it very these well. These people don't have any consistency, and they just say smug shit to be all like, mm, I have to put other people down. <laughs> 